Next up, we have Mary Catherine Ham, and in her description, well, actually, it wasn't in the description. Some people might call her a conservative pundit, but what really bothered me is that she had Duke fan in there, as if I wanted to say that out loud. Going to Maryland, thank you very much. Terps, thank you. But she has an awesome presentation. Hold on, take, everybody take a second to read this, because it takes a moment. Take it in. I am so excited. You all should check out her Twitter, too. She has so much interesting stuff to share. And she has, is it a weekly or a daily radio show? Daily radio show. So you can get more of her every day if you'd like. I'm technically allowed and not allowed to mention it because I'm talking about ratings, and that would violate codes. So she does not have a radio show. She's not a Duke fan. And she's going to talk about liberal show, politics. You can look it up. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mary Catherine Ham. Yeah. All right, so. Well. All right, when it comes to ratings, I have been on both sides of the game, okay? I have made ratings as a Nielsen family, and now, because I work in TV and radio, I am at the mercy of ratings. But you are also at the mercy of ratings. So since we're taking this ride together, I thought you should know about it. I love TV, first of all. This is a diagram of my brother's wedding toast and the amount of time spent on different subjects. You can see Dukes of Hazard leading the pack. Down here, barely statistically significant. I love my sister and her new husband is okay. <laughs> so you can imagine how I felt when the Nielsen guy came to my door and he looked a little scared, but I brought him inside. He put a Nielsen meter on my TV, recorded everything I watched for two years and I stood in for 25,000 viewers in the Metro DC area. Guess what you watched? <laughs> Lila Laguna Beach, I am not without substance, so I watched some presidential debates. You will notice that the highly acclaimed and sadly short-lived Arrested Development does not appear in the chart. Here's what happened. This is my Venn diagram of shame. Things that suck, things I created. An actual monster. Uh, Laguna Beach led to the hills which begat Heidi Montag, who then had 10 plastic surgeries in one day. Over here, outside of my sphere of influence, things that are cool, like Arrested Development. So I'm sorry about that. How did you get here? Well, in 1927, there was actually no audience research. They had all these radios, they didn't know who was listening. So a guy named Archibald Crosley did a telephone survey to find out who heard ads for Davis baking powder. So we were in, really into baking. This is sort of a ma hard to imagine at this point because you're like sitting on your toilet, checking in on Foursquare, watching a TiVo show on your phone, and TMIing all over Facebook and Twitter. But this currency did not exist back then until Crosley ratings, which everybody got very excited about because the gossip columnists could finally say, this is who's in, this is who's not, and we know why. Those were followed by the Hooper ratings, and Nielsen pretty much kicked all their asses with this, the Nielsen Autometer, which connected to radios and actually measured what people were watching. 1963, Nielsen, taking over the whole uh, ratings industry, they needed congressional hearings. I put up this quote because it basically asked the exact same question in 1963 as I ask now when I look at ratings, which is, why have things never changed? It's all audience recall, very unreliable, diaries, which people fill out, also unreliable, and meters, which in the past about five years have finally become slightly more reliable. The downside of diaries is that they're unreliable. The upside is that they give you demographics, which the meters never did until a couple years ago. This is a 1972 CBS marketing tool, which told you how to connect with lady viewers. Uh, <laughs> the basics, 115.9 million TV households in America, according to Nielsen, 37,000 of them are metered, about 100,000 people total. Two million diaries go out four times a year for something you know as sweeps you can get a 0.0, .0 rating because <laughs> it is based on a sample. Even if you have viewers, you can get zero. And John McEnroe did it when he had his talk show on CNBC. <laughs> so all that bitterness came from somewhere. Sweep Sweep, oh my God. Okay, Sweep Sweep, everybody wants to get your attention because it sets the ad rates for the entire year for local ads, okay? It can lead to great TV events like Roots. It can also lead to fatal contact, bird flu in America. But most often it leads to lesbian kisses. <laughs> which is a cynical and exploitative way to get your viewership and it is also my meta cynical and explo exploitative way of raising my ratings in the middle of my presentation. <laughs> also interesting, you can watch the social evolution of what people are tolerant of in society through the Sweep Sweep stunts. So it used to be just dead people and then it was, uh, then it was weird guests appearances and then it was lesbian kisses in the future 
gay guy kisses is actually the 2000s. So it's an interesting sort of social gauge. In radio, you will notice that you always hear, no matter where you're listening, you're listening to blah, 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 on 95 right? Why? Because radio until 2007 was entirely diaries. So it did not matter if you were actually listening to the radio, it only mattered that you remembered the name of the station. So that's why that happened. This service is called Arbitron because it was started back when calling things Tron was cool and sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> now they finally have portable people meters, which look like beepers, almost as cool and sophisticated as Arbitron. And uh, there are 1,400 of them in uh, the DC area. This all might sound discouraging, but the good news is new uh, technology, minus the dominance of the networks, back when Archie Bunker used to get 40% of all viewers in America, equals you can support quirky shows and protect your TV from 24-year-old females like me.